Good morning guys, welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure Thomas here. Today is my second dive this year, only the second dive, I haven't been diving much. I've been riding my motorcycle way too much. But uh, to, uh, to this weekend I went with my family out to Banff camping and I figure it's gonna be the time to go for a plunge and do a dive here at beautiful Lake Minowanka uh, near Banff. It is uh, very early in the morning, it's like six o'clock and it is only five degrees, believe it or not. It's uh, 23rd of September and it is a chilly morning in the mountains here, but at the same time, it's a good time to go for a dive. So I'm just gonna put all my gear together so I would like to also mention that I will be using for the first time a different camera underwater. Before I was using always a GoPro, but since that time I have uh, switched over all my gear to the Insta360 cameras. And I'll show you that in a second, just give me a moment. All right, so yeah, I have been using the GoPros for quite some time and this is the Insta360 camera with the one in sensor. I do have my iTorch uh, Video Pro lights uh, attached to it. I haven't been here in this lake for quite some time. I, I haven't been diving this year. Last, the first dive I did this year was at Lake Waterton. And this today I will be trying out that new Insta360. I do have a green water filter as well. So hopefully that will improve the footage. Uh, I was using this on my GoPro as well but Insta360 doesn't make their own, so it's some kind of a knockoff. I will see how that performs. This is my rig. If you are interested, so I'm using a Snake River prototyping uh, video tray that the, the camera is mounted on. The lights that I'm using, iTorch Video Pro 6 Plus. So those are the lights. They're pretty powerful. Uh, they're, they got quite a bit of power, so, and they got a pretty good battery life as well. Uh, just in case if you're interested, uh, I've been using those lights for a number of years already. Uh, my first set was just the first generation of eye torches, and uh, for the past, I think about five years now, I've been using the 6 Plus uh, Video Pro. They don't make those anymore, a different company took it over. It is a Canadian company for that makes those lights originally. There's uh, many different lights, but I find that those ones, uh, they're the, don't, don't break your bank. Uh, they're still expensive, but they, they will not break the bank and uh, they give you sufficient lighting. And uh, I'm using those handles uh, as well uh, that uh, I have purchased uh, with the whole setup and the ball mounts uh, that makes you easy to adjust the lights. I'm just gonna put my gear together right now. I'm just wearing the thermal and I still have to get my uh, side mount tanks uh, together with the regs and uh, get on the, into the dry suit. It will be a short dive, it's, it won't be a long dive since I'm going solo and at the same time it's not going to be deep. The regulators, uh, the scuba regulators that I'm using, they are Apex XTX50 side mount regulators. Uh, I really like those regs, uh, for main reason is because I can service them myself. The dive computers that I'm using, I'm using two Shearwaters. Uh, one is uh, Perdix, first generation, and the other one is the same thing, it's an AI version because I do have transmitters on my tanks. So I'm just gonna calibrate the compass. You have to fill the permit in order to dive uh, in Lake Winnewanka. They're free and they're located here on the dive site. It's the most useless thing I've ever seen, to be honest, because this doesn't have any information technically 
just where you have been diving if your equipment was drained and all that stuff. Okay, I'm almost geared up, uh, just a little bit left to put on the harness, but first I want to take the tanks down to the lake.
All right, guys, it, it was a good dive. I didn't go deep, uh, 60 feet was the maximum depth that I went, just pretty much around the shore area, uh, since I'm the diving solo. Uh, but still, it was a great dive, and uh, it was actually quite warm, surprisingly. Let me see if I can pull up quickly the water temperature. And that was my 300th dive. Woohoo! So actually the water temperature is quite warm, way warmer than I thought. Uh, normally it's quite cold, but this one it's uh, 11 degrees uh, Celsius. Uh, so I'm in Canada, so I'm talking Celsius. Uh, I'm not sure how well that video came out because it was quite uh, bad visibility in some sections. You, but anyways, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna go diving next time, but uh, it was my opportunity today and uh, uh, yeah, it was great uh, to be in the water again after some break.